All right, let's continue off the ghost thing. Where we left off is we had the ghosts moving down. And if they can't move because the wall's in their way, they don't move. Now, that's when they have to pick a new direction, right? Find out which way is the good way to turn. But there's another situation in the game where the ghost has to decide to pick a new direction. And that's when they pass an intersection. So when they pass these intersections, if you can detect you're at an intersection, that's also a time where you should be picking a new direction. So before I write this pick new direction code, let's write the detect intersection code. So what I'm going to do here just for testing is I'm actually just going to take these ghosts out for a sec. And I'm just going to leave my one ghost in there. And I'm going to write a new script that's intended for the ghost to use. And basically, I'm just going to modify this a bit. And I want to say this. I'm going to take that out. And I'm going to say if at intersection is false, this is going to be a script I write. If at intersection is false and can move forward is true, then I move forward. So just take a good look at that one. If I'm not at an intersection and I can move forward, then move forward. Okay, that's the logic of the ghost. Otherwise, I'm going to put code here to pick new direction, okay, which I'll write a little bit after, right? But I'm going to save that for the next video. So let's try to do this at intersection script, right? If I'm at an intersection, it should send me back true. If I'm not at an intersection, it's going to send me back false. So let's write that one, at intersection. So scripts, create script, at intersection. Okay, so at intersection. And like magic that's written. And here we go. Here's going to be our logic that we use. When we're at an intersection, that means on three sides of us or more, there's a possible direction to move in. So let's just go peek what that means. We look at a room here. If the ghost is coming down, like right now, if you check up to the right, below, and to the left, the ghost only has one, two possible ways to move. Two, that's not an intersection. As he comes down here, the ghost has above, below, only two, not an intersection. But when the ghost gets to here, above, to the right, below, three possible directions that are free, three or more, that's an intersection. And you'll see if the ghost was here, one, two, three, four possible sides are open, four is an intersection as well. So our condition for the ghost is basically three or more open sides, wall free or block free, and that's an intersection. So let's code that one in. Should only take a couple of lines. So I'll start the code here. Basically, I'm going to just start checking all around me, counting up how many free spots are around this ghost. So I'm going to make a local variable here. I don't need this variable to stick around when I'm done, right? So I'm going to call it count. I'll set count to zero. And now I'm just going to boot through the four directions. I'm going to check, is there a wall piece on each side of me? So let's just check to the right first. If place meeting, so my x position plus my speed variable, which is 4. Y, if I am free of a block, so that's false, then count goes up by 1. Now I check basically all four directions. So I'll just do a little fast forward here. And now there's the four directions. All done. And you can see here, every time I hit a free one, you add one. And now all I have to do is just check, did I have three or more? If the count is three or more, then that means, yes, I was at intersection, return true. Else, 
return false. And that's it. Now, providing this works, and we don't have any little mistakes in there, what we should be able to do is we should be able to go back to our step method of the ghost. And you'll see here, if I'm at an intersection is false, and I can move forward as true, move forward. If I do happen to be at an intersection, this is going to send me back true, and this statement will not evaluate, right? And this here is not going to happen. We should see the ghost stop. So let's see if this actually works. Cross your fingers. And bam, ghost stops at the first intersection. So not a bad test. Now, if you want to be a good tester, you should pick up that ghost. You know, move it into a variety of spots. Test it out. You should pick up the ghost moving upwards, right, left, right. But I think it's going to be okay for video purposes. It knows it's at an intersection. So we've done two great things so far. And what we have here is we know when we're at an intersection. And we also know can move forward. So a good little test for can move forward just to make sure that's still working is maybe put the ghost here. And they should stop when they hit the wall. All we have to do is write the code for pick a new direction and that's it that goes should be off and going picking appropriate directions to move we'll hit that in the next video thanks for watching